What is going on guys, Gregless TV. This is Bond, it's $100, and what it basically does is turns your sailing fans into smart devices that you can control with the app for Bond or also with Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa. Now in a future update, you're also gonna be able to control window AC units, motorized shades, garage door openers, and a few other things as well. Setting this up, you can see on the back, it's fairly simple. You're gonna attach the Bond's power supply and plug it in, download and install the Bond app, easily connect the Bond to your home network, control your fans remote and wait for the green light, and then you add speed, light, and temperature functions to the app. The Bond unit itself, which is fairly small and it just has one port on the back, which is the micro USB port to power it up. And then the power brick and micro USB cable. So setup is really simple with this. It'll only take a few minutes. What you wanna do is plug your Bond device into the power outlet in the wall near the device you'll be setting up. Next, what you wanna do is download the Bond Smart app on your phone, then create an account. Click add new bond in the app. Select your bond and connect it to Wi-Fi in the app. Your bond will upgrade via the app, which takes three to five minutes. So go make some popcorn. Click add device, tap on the device you're setting up from the list and tap next. You'll then select a function in the app that matches something that your remote can do. You then wanna have your remote within two feet of the bond and press and hold that corresponding button until the bond turns green. Select the correct match for your remote. It will then automatically find your remote. Okay, so the fan is all added and now I can control it with the bond app. You can see I can turn the power on and off. That's gonna stop the fan. So I'll press one and it takes a second and it'll start the fan up. See, really, really slowly. I'll press two. Get the fan to go a little bit faster. Three is gonna be the ultimate speed, top speed. I can dim, I can turn that light off, turn it back on. It has dimmer here, but dimmer, there's no dimmer built in, so I don't know exactly why it says dimmer. I'll press it, maybe it'll go down. Nothing happens, so there's no dimmer really, it just turns it off. Um, you can also, I'll hit the power, let me turn the light back on. I'll hit the power and that should stop the fan. So you got stopping the fan right there. So it works really easy. All you do is really press one button and it automatically finds your device. Also within here, you can go in and hit the settings button in the top right and you can change the device name. I uh, named mine bedroom fan and then you can put the location as wherever you want. I put master bedroom. The other cool thing about this is you can add it to your Google Home and Amazon Alexa. So I'll add it to Google Home, open up your Google Home app, and then hit the hamburger menu in the top left, and then go into Home Control. Next, you wanna hit the plus sign. Then you wanna go into Bond, Smart Home, and just sign in with your Bond username and password. After you sign in, hit Authorize and it's now gonna link it, your Bond Smart Home account to your Google Home so that you can control the smart fans or whatever else you have through the Bond app with Google Assistant. All right guys, so what do I think of the Bond Smart device? Uh, first of all, setup is really easy. There was no problems at all. I didn't run into any issues. Um, it took minutes and it was great. I love that part of it. Um, I would like to see more devices be compatible with it. Um, right now it's mostly just fans and uh, I think it was like fireplaces. I did get my air conditioner to work, that's in beta. Um, it took a little bit to get it working, but it wasn't that bad. It just, it didn't work as easy as the fans, uh, but it was not that much harder. It was very easy to set up my wall in or window in air conditioner. That was great and works wonderful. Um, so yeah, I, I would definitely recommend it. It's a cool device to be able to control um, ceiling fans and other devices eventually that aren't smart at all and you can control them within the app or you can control them within uh, Google Assistant or Amazon Alexa. I think it's awesome. It's like a game changer. It's a, it's a device that can wow people and it can turn, again, your dumb devices into smart devices for a very reasonable cost, which is 
100 bucks. So thanks for watching. I would definitely recommend it. If you want to pick one up, I'll link it down below. I'll see you guys down the road. Peace.